Welcome to my channel or channels and I'm going to show you how I'm making some loops for either a loop chain or for a backer but I'm just prepping for mum season and I'm using my new ribbon cu cutter and um, so I noticed that the two and a half inch width rolls of ribbon will not fit into the ribbon cutter actually it's a tape cutter uh, but many of you know we use that for a ribbon cutter so if you just back it up or put your uh, a ribbon holder near it or behind it you can just use it like this I had no issues doing it like this even for other uh, width ribbons so you don't necessarily have to put the roll in there you do have to watch the ribbons and make sure that they don't curl into themselves because then it'll mess the ribbon up but I was having no trouble at all with that one with the two and a half so I was happy that I won't have to take those rolls off my ribbon holders I can just get it close to it as long as I'm babysitting it it'll be okay and I'm not at this point I'm not even really counting how many I'm making but I do know with this luster I want to double it up to make the loop stronger and then I'm going to put diamond dust on top of them as well and here is the one and a half inch diamond dust again that's on one of my ribbon holders so instead of taking it off of there I'm just going to do it like this and I'm doing one of the settings where it'll automatically cut. I think I'm doing like 10 to 12 at a time. But see how it, the ribbon is like all curly? You have to watch it because like right there it could have gotten messed up. And there is going to be one, you'll see it, where, I, where it does curl in and mess up because I wasn't paying attention. It took me a long time to get this thing out and finally set it up. I was just, I hate setting up new things like this, but it ended up being super simple. It was not hard at all. Of course, I had a video to watch from TJ, but that helped. <laughs> and other people had shared some of their measurements, so that really helped do that. You have to watch too, like the first one it cuts, a lot of times it won't cut it the right length. I don't know what that is. Sometimes I've noticed that it cuts it the right length and then um, other times it does not. So watch that first one because a lot of times, like I'm cutting six inch strips and that first one might be only be five inches. So watch that. You may need to cut an extra one. And I'm doing sets of 10 loops in three different colors. I'm doing silver, soft gold, and gold. And I really didn't have a plan when I started this. I was just like, I think I'm going to make some loops. And so I just kept having to cut more ribbon because I wasn't sure what I was going to do at first. I just wanted to prep some loops. Some of the wide loops. I have a lot of scrap ribbon that I cut and make loops or hearts out of for chains and such or for backers but I didn't have any like wide wide loops like the two and a half inch and now I'm trying to decide how I want to put it on there do I want to put it on there kind of catty corner over to one side or do I want to just stick to the middle and I just end up centering it in the center centering it in the center <laughs> I'm still looking at it because sometimes I like to put them off to the side or catty corner it a little bit but I just decide to center the diamond dust on it that's classic so again I'm doubling the white and I'm doing shiny side out on both sides because you can see into that loop and it does make it look better but making them thicker like this I noticed does help from them getting smashed as easily if they can hold up a little bit better and then I'm just comparing one loop to the next to make sure I have that middle ribbon centered to match because if you make a loop chain you want them all to match especially if you're attaching them just straight down you'll want whatever layered ribbons you put on there to match up I love the way the diamond dust is catching in the light, sparkling like that.
Okay, again, I got to get my machine back out and cut some more of the white because I didn't cut enough. Like I said, I wasn't really counting when I was cutting them because I really wasn't sure what, how many I was going to make. Was I going to do all three colors or just one color or, you know, I'm just kind of a spontaneous person when I start crafting. <laughs> I don't always have a set plan. You see, I'm measuring that first one. It's too short, so I'm putting it in my scrap box. And for some reason, my math did not math. When I ended up at the end, I ended up with 12 of the gold. I had 10 silver, 10 soft gold, but I had 12 gold. I don't understand what I did, but my math did not math that day. And here I'm going to actually try and count them to make sure I have enough, but I, apparently I went over. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good at math, but uh, I guess I just wasn't that day. Maybe I didn't see all the loops that I already had made or something. I don't know. I have no idea. Or maybe I had too many gold, gold diamond dust cut and I wasn't paying attention to how many that was. I have no idea. But I was like, wait a minute, I have too many. So they just went into my loop box. I have a box that has loops or hearts in it. And so they just went in there, no big deal. And I had to cut a few more. And now I decided to make it easy on myself. I put them into twos and stacked them like this. So I could just keep grabbing two at a time to make the loops. Make it a little bit easier, save a little time. Be a little bit more efficient. And I love these loops with that ribbon cutter because I always like my loops to be cut clean at the end. I think it helps for attaching and attaching them straighter more evenly. So I love that it cuts these perfect straight across so you get these really perfect loops that really makes me happy. I love that. My only complaint about that ribbon cutter is you only have, let's see, you have A, B, C, D, E, and F to do preset settings for links. And I would really like to have about 20 of those. <laughs> you really have to um, decide on the ones you will use the most. So six inches was my A. That's the one I set first because I feel like I'll use that quite a bit. Okay, here I'm going to do the silver. And that first one cut correctly, so I got to save that. And there it goes. See, I wasn't watching it. You see how it went upside down? It curled and then went upside down. So those were just trashed. I still put them in my scrap box and I'll use them. I ended up actually using them to uh, glue bling to and attach bling to a backer. So I keep stuff like that too. Not completely wasted. So if you're doing this, make sure that you babysit the ribbon so you don't waste ribbon like I just did.
Okay, I'm going to finish up making these loops and um, I will try to put a link to the ribbon cutter in the description or in the comment section. TJ has a link and that's what I use to purchase mine directly from the company. I think you can get it from Amazon as well, but she has a coupon code too. I don't know how long the coupon code will be good for, but I will try to include all of that so you guys can go purchase it. Like I said, I purchased it directly from the company and saved a little bit with that coupon. But I just really, really love it. And like I said, it was not difficult at all to set up. It's a little noisy. That's that and that I wish you could have more saved settings or whatever you call it. I wish there was more of those. But besides that, it's really going to save me a lot of time during homecoming season. So I really love it. And here's all three colors. I'm not going to show attaching them to anything because I'm not at that point. I'm just prepping some loops. So I wanted to share that with you. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. Like, share, comment. Please be kind with your comments. Subscribe. And happy mom making, happy crafting. Y'all have a wonderful day. I'll catch y'all in the next one. God bless.